just got this vintage Old Pal Tackle Box from our Bass and Buds up at Butler Outdoors. Stick around as I crack this thing open and check out what kind of old school gold lies within. Retro bassin, kicking some ass and wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray-Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40 year old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Bass boat making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin. Welcome to Retro Bassin. As you might be able to tell by my unique apparel today, including a Hawaiian shirt and my old school corduroy OP shorts. Ooh, those things are tight. We're actually getting ready for a little retro vacation this weekend. I didn't have time to get on the old retro wagon and film a proper on the water retro bass and episode. So before my little vacation, we're gonna be doing the next best thing, which is crack open some old school mail from the Bass and Buds. Speaking of Bass and Buds, I do have a few announcements on the show. Uh, first thing is at the end of the video, we're gonna be doing a drawing for the Jaw Tech Lures giveaway. If you saw the episode we did a few weeks back on the history of Jaw Tech Lures, We've got a nice giveaway package of some new school and old school jaw techs. So I will use a random comment selector to pick a winner for that at the end of this video. A new segment we started up on the channel a few weeks ago is the Bass and Bud of the Week, where we highlight a subscriber who is out there doing it right, fishing old school with vintage rods, reels, lures, or equipment. Well, this week's Bass and Bud of the Week is Paul Port from Mountain Home, Arkansas. Here is Paul in his retro bass and gear catching a really nice freshwater striper from one of those nice deep Arkansas lakes. If you do want to throw your name in the ring for Bass and Bud of the Week honors, all you have to do is go ahead and post a picture of yourself fishing old school or wearing retro bass and gear on the old Instagram. Go ahead and tag me at retro bassin and use the hashtag fish at old school. So here is a rather substantial box that came to us by way of our Bass and Buds up at Butler Outdoors. This has been living under my desk for a minute or two. I've definitely tripped over this a few times. So I am super stoked to rip this thing open. Uh, I do have no idea what is in here except that it does say this side up. Hopefully in the uh, mail from Canada, they kept it that way, but I don't know that they did. <laughs> And that is uh, one heck of a tape job. I don't know if there's any uh, packing tape left in Canada after this one. <laughs> By the way, before I open this, if you have not checked out the Butler Outdoors YouTube channel, Andrew is always doing some crazy mountain man stuff up there in Canada. So that is definitely worth a subscribe. <laughs> I kind of hope I'm opening this right, but I'm not so sure. Oh, it does look like a tackle box of some sort. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Make sure there's not a note in there. Some extra padding. All right, I think I got it all. <sighs> Son, old pal tackle box. That is a honey of a box and I haven't even opened it yet. Uh... They did include a nice little Butler Outdoors, looks like a postcard uh, with a little note on the back that I will read right now. Hey Retro, I hope you enjoy this little kit I've put together. Some odds and ends I've picked up locally here in Ontario. Bushman. Well, Bushman, thank you, sir. Um, that's actually heavy. That feels like a well-stocked box. Oh, I am so excited to see. And first things first though, let's take a look at this old pal tackle box. This is definitely an oldie, but a goodie. Oh man. <laughs> and of all the tackle boxes that I have, and they're on that wall, I don't have an old pal. All right, let's get this thing open. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's check this thing out. 
Uh, first things first, it looks like there is some merch here from Butler Outdoors Canada. It says Kindness Wins. A few of those. A nice little uh, chainsaw decal that says Give Her the Garlic, which is uh, <laughs> one of their inside terms. <laughs> Another decal there. And a nice little bumper sticker. Thank you, guys. I have been using three-tier tackle boxes like this for my personal fishing collection. And as you can imagine, I've got enough bass and baits to fill up a 1978 Bass Pro catalog. So I actually have each one of these boxes dedicated to a different style of bait. I am 100% going to convert this to one of those. And I got a feeling this will be a nice home for one of the collections of baits, probably something topwater or minnow related. Well, we'll start with the top tray and work our way down. First thing I see is a nice old school rappel of floating minnow that looks like the 1.5er uh, inch in a nice blue shad pattern. Oof, nice blue top, white belly, and it also has the old school rappel uh, mouth uh, paint on there. That's a nice old bait that totally is going to go in my ultralight tackle box. I do love little minnow baits like this. I had a blast fishing for some green sunfish with some old school rebels. And I think this kind of bait would fit right in the mix. Could totally throw this on some six pound test and probably put a hurtin on some panfish, but also some bass as well. Nice little bait. All right, and on the other end of the minnow spectrum, we've got this. Looks like more a pike size uh, version of a minnow. This looks to me like not a rapala. The shape of it is a little bit off, a little bit more rectangular in shape. I don't see the rapala uh, printing on the bill, but that is a nice solid wooden bait. Oh my gosh, I bet that thing fishes awesomely. Uh, I have no idea what the brand of that is, so hopefully Bushman can let us know. But that is a good-looking bait nonetheless, and that is totally going to get dusted off and go in the old jerk bait box. Whew. Now here's another one that is a Rapala, and <laughs> I actually know this bait very well. I've actually caught some big bluefish on almost this exact same bait. This thing has an internal hardness, so you just can't rip the hooks out. And man, this thing probably can catch everything that swims in salt water. Nice. I like the blue back, white side, and a little bit of chartreuse on the belly. Very nice. Ah, check it out. Got a nice old school. Can't tell if that's wood or not. I think that's plastic. Little jitterbug. It's got the jitterbug logo on the back. Nice lip on the front. Yeah, this is actually a size that I do not have. I've got the bigger jitterbug and the jointed jitterbug, but I don't have any that are this particular size, so that is totally going to go in my Fred Arbogast tackle box and well, maybe we'll make this my Fred Tackle Box one day. Nice looking bait in one of my favorite old school colors, the old red head with a white body. What is this? <laughs> well, you know me, I love a gimmick lure or a novelty lure and check out this old Milwaukee beer spoon. I was trying to figure out what the tail was and I think I just did. I'm not sure what brand of spoon this is. I know it's not an Eppinger Daredevil. Um, it kind of has a little Clio look to it to be honest with you and, and it could be an Acme little Clio or maybe a uh, sort of an off-brand model of that. But either way. <laughs> uh, very nice. I don't know if I'm ever gonna have the heart to throw that. Maybe if I'm uh, making some old Milwaukee's float in the process, but either way, I love a good novelty lure. I love a beer spoon and uh, this thing is both. Got some crankbaits up here. 
Uh, looks like a nice little jointed Rapala. That is a tiny one. Uh, I don't know if that's a sinker or not. I think that's probably a floater. Nice little, looks like what? A little two inch floating jerk bait. Nice. Also got this, um, I can't see the branding on it. Yep, I think that is a Cotton Cordell Grappler Shad. That's an old school bait in a nice color, actually. I like that little perch color. Nice little green and yellow, those red eyes. Woo! Very cool. Looks like a nice finessey little crankbait. And this is just, one of the wildest things I think I've ever seen. <laughs> it's like a rattle trap trying to multiply. Look at that. It is a weird rattle trap Cordell spot body. And no, those aren't blades, really. It actually looks like little mini rattle traps hanging off of there. Look at that. That has got to be the wildest thing. Oh my goodness. I have no idea about this bait. I am gonna have to ask uh, the Bass and Bug community if they can identify this for me, because that is something I've never <laughs> seen before. Let's listen to this thing. Woo! That thing does rattle, and I guarantee you, <laughs> that thing makes a flash in the water. All right, what else do we have here? Uh, it says, not retro, just a personal favorite. They are deadly. And what are they? Oh yeah, this looks like a pack of three inch ribbon tail grubs in a nice white color and fish hold on 18 times longer. I bet they do. <laughs> Moving down to the bottom shelf, looks like we've got a box for a handmade balsa floating minnow. That looks like a very old box. I don't know if the lure inside matches the box, but that box itself is pretty sweet. Looks like an original Finnish minnow. There is a little minnow inside, but the minnow looks a little bit more modern, so I don't know that the minnow goes with the box itself. There's a nice little minnow. Looks like, to me, that looks like a, a Rapala. Yeah, it says Rapala on the bill. Looks like a Rapala suspending jerkbait. Nice little fish catcher for sure. Man, uh, but that's really cool. I would love to have seen the original bait that came in that box. Moving on down, uh, what do I see here? Looks like, aha, little Butler Outdoors apparel. Sweet, guys. Looks like a Butler Outdoors. <laughs> uh, pretty sweet t-shirt, very nice. <laughs> Uh, every cast of kindness makes a ripple. <laughs> some wings, some garlic, just about every base covered there. Nice. Ooh, down below I see some more baits here. Uh... <laughs> oh my gosh. That is about the most obnoxious crankbait I've ever seen. I love it. <laughs> Look at that thing. Uh, looks like the old number two Miller Lite car. It's got a little diving bill on it. it. Sounds like my muffler. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> so it looks like this lure is co-sponsored by Hank Parker and Rusty Wallace. <laughs> it's weird, I've never seen Hank Parker throw this. I, don't, I wonder why. It looks like a mixture of a uh, Bill Norman. That looks like a mixture of a Bill Norman crankbait and a Hot Wheels car. Oh, I see a nice little flatfish, looks like to me. And a nice yellow with red dots. Ooh, I like that color. Nice little bomber style jig head there, bucktail. There's another one. <laughs> I used to throw these for stripers, a little bit bigger, but that's a cool looking little, uh, little jig there. And now looks like we've got some power bait tubes. Looks like those are productive. Somebody used about half the pack. <laughs> we've got a sort of a variety pack of old school power baits with the old school power bait logo. Uh, the Edge Mismo Bait Company. 
think those are some tubes as well. Uh, definitely something you could catch a smallmouth on, I guarantee you. Another pack of old school tubes. <laughs> Very cool. Ah, oh, there's a number of these in here. Uh, looks like a nice Lindy Danson tube. Uh, that's a pretty cool little tube. I totally throw a little jig like this. Sometimes just like this for perch. Sometimes I will tip that with a live minnow for chain pickerel. Either way, super productive bait, and it's pretty cool. I think there are a handful of these, actually. One, two, three, four, five of the old Bill Dance dancing tube from Lindy. That's pretty cool. I've never actually seen that bait before. Now I've totally got enough to... Do a little casting as well. And last bait in the box, a nice uh, new in the package Excalibur crankbait. Looks like a, a Bill Dance signature. I don't know if that's the old fat free shad, it, it just might be. And that is in a nice looking color. Look at that little reflective, little clear, very shad like. <laughs> Tasty. A few weeks back, we did what I thought was a pretty fun episode, and that was a look at the history of the Joltec Lure Company. At the end of the video, as I usually do, I had a few extra Joltec lures, um, both some old school ones that I happen to have in my collection, as well as some of the newer school varieties that Colt sent my way. So let's go ahead and use a random comment selector right now. We will go ahead and pick the comments for that video and do a giveaway winner right now. Let's go ahead and see if we can pick a winner chicken dinner. And the winner is, who won? Uh, we've got Daniel Donovan is the big winner of the Joltec Word giveaway. All right, uh, so Daniel, congratulations for winning the Joltec giveaway, uh, pretty cool. Um, go ahead and send me a private message on the old Instagram or Facebook. Hook me up with your address and we'll get your worms out to you ASAP. Well, Bushman, thank you once again for this awesome retro mail call. I will totally cherish this box and most definitely get it in my rotation as well as those old school lures inside. If you guys want to check out more Butler Outdoors, I will drop all the information for that channel down below in the video comments section. If you're looking for more old school content, click right here. Otherwise, I'll see you back here next Saturday, same time, same place. But until then, keep the carpet side up, and definitely fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bay.